Astronauts are gearing up for a historic SpaceX mission. Three Americans and one Japanese astronaut are part of Dragon Capsule's first fully crewed mission to the International Space Station tomorrow. Phil Keating is live at the Kennedy Space Center. So, Phil, very exciting. What can we expect? Very exciting. You know, the rains of Tropical Storm Ada passed through the state yesterday, so the weather's looking pretty good for this maiden voyage and launch of the Crew-1 Dragon Capsule. This is going to be big. Take a live look inside. Weather conditions right now, 70% favorable. That is historic launch pad 39 and the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on bottom and on top the crew dragon ready to go tomorrow night. Now this NASA SpaceX launch really a far bigger deal than any launch here since the last space shuttle in 2011. In fact, NASA's administrator calls it historic. Falcon 9 and the crew dragon rolled out to launch pad 39A a few days ago, went vertical and is now ready to go. Blast off scheduled Saturday night 749. Eastern. As for the systems, no issues to report. Yesterday afternoon, all four astronauts put on their white pressurized suits, rode the Teslas out to the launch pad, and went up to the capsule for one final rehearsal for tomorrow night. They all sat in their seats and basically did every step of a launch and docking with the space station. And the crew for this first commercial crew launch to the space station, beginning a new chapter for NASA, left to right mission specialist Shannon Walker. Pilot Victor Glover, Commander Mike Hopkins, and Sochi Noguchi from the Japanese Space Agency. And as was the case at the end of May for that second and final test flight for SpaceX, with the first crew to launch from Florida to space, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, while well, NASA, again, beyond excited. Being able to get to the ISS and do the research we need to do there in order to get us to the moon and eventually Mars is historic. Having everybody going up together and, and flying them more regularly has always been the goal, and now we're kicking that off. And once the crew gets to the space station early Sunday morning, they all will stay up there six months, 250 miles above you and me. Sandra? Very exciting. We look forward to it. Phil Keating, thank you.